Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Mo ICT. Uh, in this tutorial, uh, we're going to be using the WPF C Sharp to make a simple application where we can add and remove items dynamically from a canvas. So this will be our first tutorial where we get to use a canvas in WPF and C Sharp. So let's just take a look at what this app does. If I just run this quickly, so at the moment the canvas is completely blank. So if I click on any of any location i add a little rectangle right with a random color okay but if i click on the rectangle then i can remove them as well from the app okay so the idea is uh, it registers a click on the canvas to see whether you clicked an empty spot if you have it creates a rectangle if you click on a rectangle it will go find out which rectangle that is and they will simply remove it from the app itself so this technique is quite useful especially when you're making games because you will have to create and delete dynamic um, items all the time such as bullets and enemies and stuff like that so we're just going to go and uh, build a pathway towards that slowly slowly okay i hope you guys enjoy this and um, let's start a new project okay so be to begin uh, let's create a new project make sure you click the wpf app.net framework click on next let's name this one add and remove items no ICT click create right, so we can make this one smaller so we can just work with this so we can actually see the preview and see the code as well so first thing um, let's rename the title to and and remove items no ICT. Okay. Um, by default, it always starts off with the grid. So what we want to do is we want to change the grid into a canvas. Okay. So in the canvas, we have more dynamic control of the items. So inside the canvas, we need to give you a few properties. So first one is we're going to need to give it a name called my canvas, like so. Uh, second one let's give you a background of light yellow okay and then we can say focusable we set that to true so the program is uh, so the canvas is able to focus when the program is running and then we can say mouse left button down i think yeah left button down is equals to say add or remove item so this is the event that's going to run to help us create all the items inside this project okay and that's all that we need for this project inside the xaml code so right now we created a canvas and give it a few properties and then we did the event so if we just right click on here and then i go to go to definition so that will automatically add the add remove items click event for us okay so let's Go and start by creating a couple of global variables first one we're going to need is a brush called custom color so that's going to help us sort of um, generate a random color for us and then we also need a random let's call this one r equals new random like so okay those are the only two variables that we need now if i go inside the event say if say e the original source so here we're going to check if we have clicked a rectangle so say for example if the original source is rectangle no, we'll rectangle like so all right so then what we're going to do is we're going to create a local rectangle inside of here say for example active rectangle equals rectangle e dot original source so we're going to create a local variable a local rectangle here and then we're going to link it to the original source and then what we'll do is we will remove the one that is clicked from the canvas so you can say oh yeah i'm supposed to say my canvas instead of my name <laughs> that's okay so let's just go here and say my canvas dot children dot remove and then we can now delete the active rectangle so this is um inside of this if statement this is only going to run when we actually click on one so the other times that we don't 
we're going to need to run it all inside the else statement here. So first we're going to uh, generate a custom color. Okay, so then we can say new solid brush color like that. All right, we'll do the brackets and then say color dot capital C from RGB. So we're going to need to convert three different colors here. Uh, do another bracket, two small brackets again. Okay, and then inside of here, we're going to need to do a another bracket to look for byte. Okay, so that's for casting, right? And then we need to check for r dot next. Do another set of brackets. Okay, and then one to two hundred fifty-five. Okay, so that's just the value for one. So we got the value for red. We need the value for green and the blue. So what it's doing is it's looking for a number between 1 and 255 and then it's going to convert it into byte. Right, so once it does that and then we'll be able to use the ARGB, sorry, RGB comma. So once you've got the first button, just copy that and then just paste it a couple of times. Okay, so do a comma again and then paste it again. So the first one will be for the red, green and then blue. Okay. So after we've got that, uh, we need to make a new rectangle. So let's make another new rectangle here called a new rectangle like so equals new rectangle. So we're creating a new instance of the class. So instead of doing the two small brackets end of it, we're going to do a curly bracket here. So we can directly input some of the properties that we want this rectangle to have when it's created. So first one is we need to have a width of 50. We can say comma here. Say height of 50. 50 as well okay uh, just do the fill so the fill is the back color so the background color of the rectangle is going to be the custom color that we just created now uh, let's say stroke thickness so that's the border right so we want it to be a three pixels and then we also want the stroke to be equals to brushes to black so we want the stroke to be a black color so notice that they have got commas in the end of each line except for the last line there okay, and don't forget the semicolon end of that okay so now let's set the left and so the x and y value so where the rectangle is going to be set so let's go and say canvas dot set left with the small brackets to semicolon inside of here so we need to inside of here we need to say which item we want the set left for so say new rectangle comma we want to get the mouse position first so mouse position do the bracket there then just say my canvas and say dot x okay so we are capturing the mouse position okay so let's just do the y value now so canvas dot set top All right so say new rectangle again comma say Mouse dot get position again. So inside the brackets in my canvas dot y. Okay, so that would do for the x and y value for the rectangle, and now we just need to add it to the canvas. So once again, say my canvas dot children dot add. Let's say new rectangle. Okay, so with that being done, let's just go run the app. So right now it's all empty. If I click on it, there's one box. And if I click on the boxes now, it will start removing them. Okay. So it finds uh, where I'm clicking them. If it's empty, it will add the boxes. But if it finds a rectangle that's being clicked, it will automatically remove it from the scene. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. And I do hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I will see you on the next one.